Welcome to rocket profile of the Proton rocket, Russia's space station builder. The first stage of the Proton K has six RD-253s burning unsymmetric dimethyl hydrazine, or UDMH, and nitrogen tetroxide for 2 minutes and 4 seconds. Proton uses these propellants in all three stages despite their high toxicity because it was designed as an intercontinental ballistic missile, and UDMH and N204 are storable, unlike liquid oxygen. Looking at the Proton, it appears to have six boosters, but those are not boosters, they're part of the first stage that are shipped separately and then attached, allowing the first stage to be transported by normal means. The RD-253s provide 1630 kilonewtons each. The difference between a Proton K and a Proton M is that the Proton M uses lighter tanks and structure as well as more powerful first stage engines, the RD-275s, which provide 1832 kilonewtons each. The second stage of Proton has four RD-0210 engines each providing 582 kilonewtons for 3 minutes and 26 seconds. They have a vacuum-specific impulse of 326.5 seconds. Ignition of this stage occurs with the first stage still attached, which is known as hot staging. That saves the rocket from requiring extra separation motors or ullage rockets to keep the fuel settled. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the Proton rocket remains fairly moderate throughout its flight profile, so it sticks fairly close to prograde throughout, unlike certain other rockets with underpowered upper stages. To low Earth orbit, the Proton K has a capacity of about 19.76 tons, while the Proton M can carry 23 tons. The third stage of the rocket consists of an RD-0213 with four RD-0214 vernier thrusters, a combination that is also known as the RD-0212. The vernier thrusters serve as separation motors, igniting first while the second stage is still attached. The RD-0213 is basically a non-gimbling version of the RD-0210s found in the second stage. Burn time for this stage is 2 seconds shy of 4 minutes. The Proton had its first launch in 1967 and is still active after over 400 launches. The success rate for the Proton K was 88.4%, and for the Proton M, it is currently 89.8%. Though some of the failures were due to the optional upper stages, which are not part of the orbital launcher design itself. Proton Ks launched all of Russia's Salyut space stations, and six Proton K launches built the Mir space station. Proton K also launched the Zarya and Zvezda modules, the Russian modules on the International Space Station. More recently, Russia has announced the development of new variants of the Proton rocket, the Proton Medium and Proton Light. However, those variants are substantially different from the Proton rockets that have flown for the past four decades and will be handled in a different video. And so on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Proton.